there is standby downstairs. I think the journey has been pretty much as a new show was we probably struggled to get the right type of entrepreneur on the show. We had a lot of, I'd say, random businesses, businesses which were not investable. What exactly are you selling? And how are you going to make your money? Valuations that just have nothing to justify them. Um, personally, because of the valuation and the fact that I don't get the sense that you have a very clear um, market strategy in terms of how you're going to grow, I mean, growth strategy, I'm out. You can't come to ask for investment and you don't know your numbers. You've got to know your numbers. So when you said 5 million for 1.5, where do you get yes. that number from if you have not done a valuation of the company? We've not done like a formal one, but we've done like a pure evaluation. Um, from season one, I got a business called Big Brains, and that's a gentleman who I know we will still be doing stuff 10 years to come. And I know you understand my vision. I'll be nice. Okay. Done deal. Can I hug you? <laughs> And then to season two, where I think there was a better understanding of, okay, I'm going to sell equity in my business, but we probably didn't manage to attract, again, too many great business. Uh, we are seeking 800%, no, 800 shillings for 40%. 800 take. shillings. Oh my God. <laughs> and to this uh, season three, which we have, obviously most people come up coming in with much more reasonable valuations. I like the display and I like the thinking. Obviously, you're like a mad scientist, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I want to give you a deal. Chris Sananu. Um, you know, me, me and Chris have obviously had a very interesting di you know, dynamic. Uh, always a sense of competition friendly. It's been fun. Really? Are you, <laughs> are you, are you, are you dancing? Yeah. Chris and I have very similar tastes in the contestants because um, we seem to have a very pretty similar background. He's really the guy who always looks at what I'm looking at. Would you, would you be interested, Mike, to join with Chris? <laughs> He's the boss. Yes. <laughs> Why give me a reason I need this guy? Chris is always, you know, the, the guy who tries to speak last in the den. <laughs> All dreams are valid, but fantasies are not. And, and you're like, selling happiness. I am selling happiness. What and more do you want? <laughs> I'm looking for a passionate entrepreneur. I'm looking for somebody who is not going to give up on the first, second or third obstacle. Somebody with tenacity. At, at the same time, somebody who's not taking themselves too seriously. It's not all about the numbers. So you gotta have some fun whilst doing this. The den is the den. You don't get a second chance to give a first impression. KCB Lions Den Season 3 premieres Tuesday, 4th September at 8 p.m. on KTN.